updates the yet to be released iQ15. Today, let's first take a look at its incredibly powerful 2K Samsung Ever screen and just how strong it is. Also, why have many flagship phones this year downgraded from 2K to 1.5K? Is it really because the perception is not strong? Of course not. Resolution is determined by physical conditions. The more pixels there are, the higher the resolution, and naturally, the screen becomes clearer and more transparent. Just like when you watch a video and choose between 720p and 1080p, it's, it's definitely different. So the display of this 2K screen on the iQ015 is also more delicate and clear, especially in terms of brightness. The manual brightness control can reach 1000 nits, and the peak brightness in certain areas can even reach 6000 nits. Let's take a look directly under strong light. You can see the brightness of this screen is really noticeable. 2K resolution plus high brightness might make some students worry about pneumonia. So the iQ15 screen directly removes the traditional polarizing layer. The screen's lighting effect is closer to natural light, different from the previous linear polarized light and source polarized light. This time, there truly is no polarizing layer. This is a polarizing film. On other phones, you can see a lot of color distortion, but on the screen of the iQ15, there is no color distortion at all. Additionally, after removing the polarizing layer, the screen's power consumption will also decrease because at the same brightness, without the polarizing layer, light is not reflected back, the light emission efficiency is higher, and naturally, the power consumption will be lower. Moreover, the minimum brightness can be as low as one nit, making it more comfortable and eye-friendly when looking at the phone with the lights off at night. Additionally, the full-screen AUD will be more power efficient. Also, the initial frame brightness of this screen will be higher, so when scrolling quickly, the screen's motion blur will be less noticeable. This time, there's also a very practical upgrade. The automatic brightness is more sensitive. In addition to the front and back, a new light sensor has been added at the top. So whether it's from light to dark or dark to light, the brightness adjustment will be faster and more accurate. For the iQ15, this screen paired with the gaming chip KI Cell 3 not only achieves game ray tracing effects, but also provides a true 2K plus 144Hz ultra clear and ultra real gaming experience. By the way, this time the iQ15 comes standard with an AR anti-reflective ultrasonic protective film. It not only effectively reduces screen glare, making the screen colors more realistic, but also allows the ultrasonic fingerprint to unlock instantly. So remember not to tear it off when you get it. Of course, besides the screen, the iQ15 has many upgrades in performance, battery life, and gaming experience, which we will discuss in detail after the launch event.